Erica from Spirit 105.3 and we love sharing stories about how you are catching the spirit in our community. And today I'm joined by a very special guest. Sandy is the director of Raven Rock Ranch. She's also the chief mental health officer. Welcome. Thank you so much for having me, Erica. We're so glad you're here. I appreciate now, it. I read once that the outside of a horse is good for the inside of a person. How does horse therapy work? Because I know you're trying to save kids and you're also trying to help horses too. That's right. It's because the uh, there's three ways of doing mental health therapy that they use for trauma. And um, the first one that we all know about is talk therapy. Mm. And we can talk about our problems and sometimes that helps a lot. Uh, there's psychotropic drugs and we know, everybody knows somebody that is on an anti-anxiety or an antidepressant. Um, but the third way is what we do at Raven Rock. And we do body-centered therapy. Mm. The way that works is that horses, being a prey animal, really need to be in a relationship to survive. Mm -hmm. So if you take the strongest, biggest, baddest <laughs> stallion out there and put him out in the, the wild by himself. He will search and search for other horses, but if he doesn't find any, he will die. They just don't live and succeed well without relationship. Mm -hmm. So because they are constantly looking for relationship and a leader, they really want to be in a strong relationship with a human being. Through that relationship, when children are really want to be in relationship as well, mm -hmm. we're hardwired for that as human beings. They, but they're, they've been damaged through relationship. So what has been damaged through relationship must be healed through relationship. Wow. So the horses and the kids need each other, and it's this beautiful symbiotic relationship. Absolutely. What is it like to witness that, Sandy? You're going to make me cry, Erica. Don't make me cry right away. No. Um, I love it. I, I did talk therapy for a long time, and mm -hmm. um, but I feel like God's presence is there every minute. I remind myself every day that I am on sacred ground when I'm in there scooping poop. And uh, it's, because, it's because the horse and the child help each other so dramatically and I just get to watch. I don't I don't have to do anything but really watch and, and lead them through certain exercises but they really work it out on their own. It's just wonderful. When I was a kid I went through so much abuse with my parents and um I couldn't really trust people. It was hard to love. There was this moment, I don't know where, it was like in the middle of me coming here. Me and Rachel were riding in the arena here. And I was riding her and I just felt free at one moment. I just felt like the fear and everything's gone. The children who come to Raven Rock uh, Ranch have been hurt in so many ways. They battle anxiety, they've been abused. So what does it look like when a child starts to trust a horse? Paint that picture for us. When a, a child begins to trust a horse and they know that when they are, tr are loved and respected by that horse, they have earned it. Mm. Dogs are wonderful and I have two dogs and, <laughs> and my dogs are part of our program, but dogs are predators and so they don't have the same requirements as horses do. So horses are big and strong and powerful and yet they're so easily manipulated and they're so easily uh, you know led into a relationship mm -hmm. and so the child feels so much more empowered when they are able to have boundaries with a horse and have a playful relationship with the horse and and understand what that horse is telling them. It's just such a beautiful thing to watch. It's wonderful. I, I hope everyone comes out and visits the ranch at some point and gets to watch. I would love to. I know you must have a favorite story about a child who came to Raven Rock Ranch and their life was changed by a horse. 
Yes, there was a mom who emailed me and she was desperate. Her child, she was a wonderful Christian mom. Her child was the result of a rape. And so this young lady suffered on so many levels and she was being bullied. She had to pull her out of school. She was being bullied. She one time pulled up to, to pick her up from school and she, this young lady was surrounded by other students who were hitting and kicking her, right? At school. Can you I can't imagine it either. And she said she has such a low esteem and she won't talk to you and she keeps her head down and you're not going to get a smile, don't expect to. And, and so we brought her on and I had my own idea, which I often find that God's got a different one. Um, <laughs> I'm okay with that. Yeah. <laughs> because, uh, but I thought, well, she's really shut down. So I'm going to see if she can match up with our horse that's sort of almost like a cartoon pony. She's Aww. very animated and loves to play and just adorable and cute. Well, she met all the horses and she liked them all. And this one horse was kind of over in the pasture and he had not had a good life. He was a, a very traumatic experience when he was growing up. And so he, he was over under a tree. And he was kind of the guy that used to want to know, okay, why are you here? What do you want from me? How does this apply to me? I'm not sure I'm coming over. They recognized each other, didn't they? They absolutely recognized each other. She went to the fence and he galloped. I was speechless. I couldn't believe it. He galloped over and he reached his head over the, the fence and he pulled her in and gave her a hug. It was a hug. And wow, I know it was, it was. So she said in a very quiet, sweet voice, I think I would like to work with Rusty. And I said, I think Rusty would like to work with you too. So that recognition was, you're broken, I'm broken, we'll help each other, was just beautiful. Sandy, you're a beautiful person. I just believe someone is hearing your story right now and saying, I want to get involved at Raven Rock Ranch. How can someone do that? Well, check our website. Okay. We love volunteers. We, we have 25 volunteers a week and we're constantly expanding. And I would also say that we're always looking for new facilitators who do this work. And, um, Mostly, I care about having a heart for kids. If you have a heart for kids, all the rest of the stuff we can teach you. Yeah. And um, we're, we're also having a fundraiser in October, okay. and it's all on our website. And the ra website is ravenrockranch.org. It's wonderful. You can scoop poop, and God can use you to change <laughs> lives. You are an amazing human being. Thank you for being here. Thanks for catching the spirit, Sandy. Oh, thank you for having me. Sandy, the director of Raven Rock Ranch, she's also, also the chief mental health officer, operator. <laughs> <laughs> we just want to yeah. thank Olympus Spa for sponsoring Catch the Spirit on Spirit 105.3.